G'day guys and welcome to Primal Waters. Um, today we're going to have a look at an image on my Primal Waters podcast Facebook page. So if you haven't um, come over and liked or followed, uh, please come over and check it out. I'll put the link uh, for that down below. But uh, my previous video we were talking about um, how big uh, great white sharks are and one of the sightings that took place in September in New South Wales. Uh, now the and I mentioned about a another big great white shark uh, that there was a picture of. So I thought well, I'll come over here and I'll show you on my uh, Facebook page. So we'll have a look in photos. Um, now, come on, open up. There we go. So we'll look down. Where is it? Here it is. Come on. There we go. Have a look at the size of that shark. Now, this was taken in Australia, I think in the same location as uh, the story I mentioned before. The photo was taken by uh, this gentleman right here, so as you can see up here. Um, how big would you say this shark is? Like A lot of people in the comment section are saying this is could be a seven-metre great white. Um that boat there, I don't know. I don't know. It's a big shark. Look at the girth of it. It's it's massive. Um, another thing to take notice is that the dorsal fin hasn't broken the surface. surface. So uh, the shark is fairly uh, a bit under the uh, under the water there. So um, I don't know. I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna call it seven meters myself. So um, if that's the case, that's a massive shark. Maybe six, six and a half, maybe. <laughs> Taking all these guesses here. Uh, but a few comments over here. Looks like a seven metre great white. They definitely need a bigger boat. Got to be around 18 foot at least. Jeez, it's huge. Anyone else think in the shadow beneath it looks like <laughs> Megalodon? Uh, maybe 18 foot. I think it could be a bar. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's a basking shark, not that. That's a female great white shark. Really big one. Now, like I said, I think this picture was taken in New South Wales only uh, in September. Um, so you, I don't really hear a lot of um, sightings of really big great whites in New South Wales. There probably is, but uh, you don't really he hear a lot. Uh, the best place in Australia to see massive great whites is either here in South Australia or Western Australia. Western Australia would have to be the number one spot in Australia, I would have to say. Number one spot. Um, I live in South Australia, but I would have to say Western Australia is the uh, the number one spot. If you're going to go looking for mega great white sharks, um, that is the place. So what I'll do is I'll um, – uh, Western Australia. We'll have a look at the map. I've gone through Western Australia before and all that, but we'll have a look at the uh, the map. Come on. Here we go, Western Australia. All right. So the shark sightings we were talking about before were over here in New South Wales along the coastline here. Um, around this area here, um, about this time now, like I mentioned before, a lot of juvenile great whites are found in this area. Uh, the water is a lot warmer now. So I did read um, an article somewhere where they mentioned a lot of the juvenile great whites hang around in warmer waters and that maybe the large females come up to warm, warmer waters to give birth. Uh, it is known that there's a, um, a uh, what do they call it, a great white shark nursery around this area near Port Stephens, I believe. Uh, Port Stephens, I think it's north of Sydney. Uh, I'm not too sure. Anyway, a lot of juvenile sharks. Now, I did read somewhere that maybe the females go up into warmer water to give birth and then head back to the cooler waters uh, and the juveniles hang around the coastline up here chasing uh, the smaller fish and stuff. That's why there's a lot of um, incidents between surfers uh, with juvenile great whites. But uh, if you want to find the big ones... Now, I'm not saying South Australia and West Australia are the only place where big great whites are found, uh, found all over the place. But if you're going to go searching for them, uh, definitely 
South Australia, Kangaroo Island. Uh, there's a story back in 1987, uh, nicknamed Kanga. I've talked about in the past. Um, she got caught up in a, uh, a fishing line and they uh, the shark was so big and they couldn't put it on the boat. Uh, they had it to, uh, you know, but uh, they believe uh, by measuring the jaws that that shark was uh, estimated to be around about seven metres in length. Um, back in, I think, 2009, 2006, uh, the big great white shark spotted off of uh, the coastline here in Adelaide, South Australia, down here, down Aldinga Beach. Uh, big one, estimated to be around about seven metres in length. Uh, Neptune Island is the location where uh, a lot of people go and uh, cage dive or great whites. Uh, here we go. We've got, uh, I think that's northern Neptune Island up here. Uh, that's the southern bit. Now, I'm not too sure which island they go to in cage dive, uh, but you have a look at uh, how far away from mainland it is. Now, this is where if I'm going to go cage diving with great whites, this is the location you go do it. Uh, you've got Port Lincoln here, a lot of islands along here. I, uh, January last year, uh, you would have seen the videos I did on the snorkelling with sea lions. Did it at one of these islands around here, I'm not too sure which one. Uh, swimming with sea lions <laughs> in Great White Territory. Just over here, back in, I think, 87, uh, there was a fatal incident with a massive Great White Shark. Uh, in, I'm not too sure if it was this part here, or this um, bay here or bay there. Massive great white shark. Um, they believe it's around about six metres in length, that one. And then you got the uh, west coast of uh, South Australia. Uh, a lot of surfing along these uh, coastline here. Very isolated, like the main uh, parts of South Australia are this side of uh, South Australia, the eastern side. Got a lot of small towns that uh, uh, go along the coastline here. A lot of surfers. Uh, a lot of shark incidents as well along here. Lots of them. Um, Streaky Bay, I've been there once. Beautiful spot. Uh, a lot of this area down here is um, abalone divers along here, along the coastline. I think this is Flinders Island. This is the... Yeah, Flinders Island. Um, this is a location around here. Well, I think it was last year. Uh, the abalone diver found the uh, great white shark that was bitten in half. That location. Now we come up to areas that are really isolated. Um, as you can see, this is the uh, Nullarbor across here. Uh, if I can change the the way this looks, there we go. We go satellite. Um, very barren and desert-like kind of area, uh, isolated beach line, uh, coastline, beautiful beaches. Love to be able to go this way uh, at some stage. Uh, I, I drove through there in the um, early 2000s with my mates when we were heading over to Perth. Um, beautiful coastline, sea lines, seals, you name it, whales, killer whales, everything through there. Isolated little island pockets. Um, they literally call this the Great Australian Bite. See, Great Australian Bite. Have a look. Big bite mark out of Australia. Uh, big great whites in there. Then we're moving over to Western Australia. And uh, along here, a lot of shark incidents are through here, through here around Esperance, around here. And quite a few recently in this area. Then Perth. Uh, along the coastline there. Beautiful, Perth is um, beautiful beaches along there, coastline. Now, I'm trying to remember what area, but um, here, here we go, Brema, Brema Canyon. Shark Alpha disappeared around here. Uh, the mystery of Shark Alpha. But there you go. Australia. I, I'm, I'm going to call it and say Australia's number one hot spot for big great whites. I know South Africa have lots of great whites, but nah, I don't think nothing beats Australia and its coastline along here. Massive great whites. A lot of stories. I've got books there. I can, 
I eventually want to read to you guys and, and talks about shark incidents that have taken place in Australia, especially around Tasmania, around this, around here and up there. Massive great white sightings. Um, but, uh, yeah, there you go. All right, guys, uh, that's it for this video. Thank you for tuning in. Um, I'll definitely do some more videos on locations in Australia uh, and talk about uh, great whites and uh, locations that have been spotted. Northern Australia, northern Australia, uh, tropical warm waters, tiger sharks, uh, bull sharks, big saltwater crocs. I've seen some salties uh, when I went up to Darwin uh, back in um, 2002. Man, they are huge. And the ones I saw were only what, four and a half metres and they can get way bigger. And then there's stories from the Indigenous people talking about even bigger crocs, massive crocs. Like, oh, it's too scary to go up there. I've only been up there once, but you... you you just can't go to the water. It's too dangerous up there. Like South Australia or the southern parts of Australia, yep, no worries. You can go there, and um, obviously depending on the beach. But um, you know, there's the only thing you really got to worry about is uh, great whites or uh, getting the, uh, pulled out to sea in the currents and stuff. But up north, man, there's just too many, too much stuff up there <laughs> that, that wants to eat you up there. Crocs, snakes, jellyfish, you name it. Snakes. You would not want to go in the water up there. No way. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for tuning in. Drop a comment down below. Hit that like button. Share this video. Uh, if you're new to the, to the channel, please subscribe. If you are already subscribed, make sure you hit that notification bell and so you're notified when I upload a next video. Okay, okay, uh, spit it out. Okay, guys, I'll catch you in the next video.